In the early 20th century, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a towering figure in the burgeoning film industry. Weighing over 200 pounds, his ample size and comedic talent earned him the nickname Fatty, and he quickly became one of Hollywood's most beloved stars. Arbuckle was a pioneer in the world of silent films, helping to shape the genre and pave the way for future comedians. He began his film career in 99, working as a comedian and actor for several different studios before signing with Keystone Studios in 1913. It was there that he first teamed up with legendary director Max Sennett and began to make a name for himself as a comedic genius. Over the next few years, Arbuckle became one of the most popular and highly paid actors in Hollywood. He starred in dozens of short films, many of which he wrote and directed himself. His unique brand of physical comedy, which often involved elaborate stunts and sight gags, delighted audiences and earned him legions of fans. In 1917, Arbuckle made the leap to feature-length films, starring in several successful movies for Paramount Pictures. He was also a mentor to a young Buster Keaton, who credited Arbuckle with teaching him many of the skills that would later make him a star in his own right. Despite his success, Arbuckle's career was marred by scandal. In 1921, he was accused of raping and accidentally killing a young actress named Virginia Rapp during a wild party in a hotel room. Although he was eventually acquitted of the charges, the scandal destroyed his reputation and effectively ended his career. Arbuckle died in 1933 at the age of 46, but his legacy lies on. He is remembered as a trailblazer in the world of silent films, a gifted comedian, and a mentor to some of Hollywood's greatest stars. His contributions to the film industry may have been overshadowed by scandal, but his talent and influence are undeniable. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a popular actor, director, and screenwriter during the silent film era. He was born in Wedding Year in 87 and appeared in over 150 films throughout his career. Despite facing controversy and scandal, Arbuckle remained a significant figure in early Hollywood. Do you have a favorite Fatty Arbuckle moment or film? Perhaps you hold his comedic performances close to your heart or remember watching his work with family or friends. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Throughout this video, we'll share surprising facts about Arbuckle's life and career. From his humble beginnings to his rise to fame, there's much to explore about this influential figure. So, keep watching to learn more. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was born in Kansas in what he did in 87 to parents who were traveling vaudeville performers. His parents' occupation exposed him to the world of entertainment at a young age. When Arbuckle was eight, his mother passed away and he was sent to live in an orphanage where he honed his singing and dancing skills. At the age of 12, Arbuckle ran away from the orphanage and joined a traveling medicine show which further developed his performing abilities. He later moved to California and began working in the film industry as a stuntman and extra. Arbuckle's big break came when he was discovered by filmmaker Max Sennett, who saw his potential and gave him a contract with his studio, Keystone. Under Sennett's guidance, Arbuckle quickly rose to fame as a talented comedian and actor. Sennett was not only Arbuckle's employer, but also a mentor who helped shape his career. Arbuckle learned a great deal about physical comedy and timing from Sennett who was known for his slapstick comedies. In addition to Sennett, Arbuckle was influenced by other early film comedians such as Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton. He admired their comedic timing and physical comedy skills and often incorporated elements of their styles into his own performances. Arbuckle's natural talent and the influence of his mentors and peers helped him become one of the most popular and successful comedians of the silent film era. His legacy continues to inspire and influence comedians and filmmakers today. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a significant figure in the early Hollywood film industry. He began his career as a comedian and quickly became one of the most popular actors of his time. Arbuckle appeared in over 150 films and directed many more, making him a major contributor to the development of the silent film era. Arbuckle's influence on the film industry was immense. He was one of the first comedians to use physical comedy and slapstick humor which became a staple of silent films. Arbuckle's comedic style was unique and original, and he was known for his ability to make audiences laugh with his expressive face and body language. In addition to his comedic talents, Arbuckle was also a skilled actor and director. 
He was one of the first actors to be given creative control over his films, which allowed him to experiment with different filmmaking techniques. Arbuckle's films were known for their high production values, innovative camera work, and engaging storylines. Arbuckle's contributions to the film industry extended beyond his own work. He mentored many young actors and filmmakers, including Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. Arbuckle's influence on these artists helped shape the future of comedy and filmmaking. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, Arbuckle remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. His influence on the film industry continues to be felt today, and his legacy as a pioneering comedian and filmmaker is secure. Arbuckle's work helped define the early years of Hollywood and paved the way for future generations of filmmakers and actors. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, born in 1887, discovered his passion for acting and comedy at a young age. After his mother's death, a 12-year-old Arbuckle found solace in performing on stage, often imitating the vaudeville acts he had seen. A pivotal experience came when Arbuckle's father remarried and his stepmother encouraged his performing aspirations. She enrolled him in the Murray School of Dance, where he learned acrobatics, singing, and dancing, further fueling his desire to perform. Arbuckle's natural comedic timing and physical comedy skills were evident even then. He began performing in local talent shows and, by age 16, had joined a traveling troupe performing in venues across the country. In 1908, Arbuckle's talent caught the attention of film producer Max Sennett, who offered him a role in a silent film. Arbuckle's transition to film was seamless, and he quickly became one of the most popular comedians of the silent film era. His passion for acting and comedy had transformed into a successful career, making him a foundational figure in early Hollywood. In 1920, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle signed a significant contract with Paramount Pictures for a million dollars, making him one of the highest paid actors of his time. However, his success was marred by a tragic event that same year. A woman named Virginia Rapp fell ill during a party at Arbuckle's hotel suite. A doctor was called, who concluded that she was drunk, and gave her morphine to calm her. Two days later, Rapp was hospitalized with a ruptured bladder and died of peritonitis. Arbuckle was charged with manslaughter, and although he was acquitted after three trials, the scandal had a lasting impact on his career. His legal fees were substantial, and he was forced to sell his luxury mansion. Despite the controversy, Arbuckle continued to act in films, but his career never fully recovered from the scandal. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, a legendary comedian and filmmaker, faced numerous challenges early in his career. Born into a poor family, Arbuckle worked odd jobs to support himself before finding success in show business. He struggled to break into the industry, facing skepticism from producers who doubted his talent and comedic abilities due to his large size. Despite these obstacles, Arbuckle remained determined and resilient. He owned his craft in vaudeville, developing his signature comedic style and physical comedy skills. His innovative and entertaining performances eventually caught the attention of film studios, and he was offered a contract with Keystone Studios in 1913. Arbuckle's financial struggles continued even after his breakthrough in the film industry. As one of the highest paid actors at the time, he earned a substantial income, but his extravagant lifestyle and generosity led to significant financial difficulties. To overcome this challenge, Arbuckle began producing and directing his own films, giving him greater creative control and financial stability. Industry skepticism persisted, but Arbuckle's talent and hard work eventually won over even his harshest critics. He became a mentor to aspiring comedians, including Buster Keaton and Bob Hope, and his influence on early Hollywood comedy remains evident today. Arbuckle's ability to adapt, innovate, and persevere in the face of adversity is a testament to his resilience and determination, making him an inspiring figure in the world of entertainment. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle began his career as an entertainer in vaudeville at the young age of 12, seeking to survive after his mother's death and his father's abandonment. He came from a family of performers, being the cousin of Andrew Arbuckle and Macklin Arbuckle, as well as the half-brother of Clyde Arbuckle. Arbuckle made a significant mark in the film industry as he became the first movie star in America to systematically direct his own films. From 1914 onwards, he directed most of his output, showcasing his unique talent and creativity. His work as a director and actor has left an indelible impact on the world of cinema, inspiring future generations of filmmakers and entertainers. 
Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle's career had several breakthrough moments. In 99, he joined the Keystone Film Company, where he started as a bit player and soon became a leading comedian. His physical comedy and inventive gags were praised by peers and critics alike. One of his most significant breakthroughs came in 1913 when he began collaborating with Mabel Norman. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable and Arbuckle's performance skills were elevated to a new level. This collaboration marked a turning point in his career, leading to his rise as a major star. In 1914, Arbuckle signed with the Comique Film Corporation, where he was given more creative control. This allowed him to develop his directorial skills and further hone his comedic style. His films gained critical acclaim for their humor, innovative camera work, and storytelling. A notable breakthrough was the 1917 film The Butcher Boy, which was a commercial and critical success. The film showcased Arbuckle's unique comedic style and solidified his status as a leading comedian. His performance was praised by critics, who noted his exceptional timing and physical comedy skills. In 1918, Arbuckle signed with Paramount Pictures, becoming one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. His films were consistently successful, and he was recognized as a pioneer in the slapstick comedy genre. Despite the scandal that marred his career in 1921, Arbuckle's impact on the film industry remained significant. His innovative comedic style and performance skills have influenced generations of comedians and filmmakers. His breakthrough moments not only shaped his career, but also left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Despite his size, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle refused to rely on his weight for comedic effect. In fact, it was written in his contract that his weight should remain above 250 pounds, and he would receive a yearly bonus if he exceeded that by 50 to 100 pounds. Throughout his career, Arbuckle kept his weight well over 300 pounds. In 1924, he hired a young Bob Hope as a chief act for his traveling vaudeville show. After witnessing Hope's performance at the Bandbox Theater in Cleveland, Arbuckle sensed that Hope had the potential to become a major star. He reached out to his friends in Los Angeles and advised Hope to do the same. Eventually, Hope followed Arbuckle's guidance and headed west to pursue his own successful career. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a groundbreaking actor and filmmaker known for his humor and physical comedy. He approached his work with a unique style that combined slapstick and subtle character-driven humor. Arbuckle often played an Everman character, which allowed audiences to connect with him easily. His personal experiences, such as his humble beginnings in rural America, influenced his work and helped him create authentic and relatable characters. Arbuckle's creative process began with a strong emphasis on storytelling. He believed that a good story was the foundation of any great film. He worked closely with his writers and actors to develop well-rounded characters and engaging plots. Arbuckle was also known for his improvisational skills and often added his own comedic touches to scenes during filming. One of the unique aspects of Arbuckle's style was his ability to balance physical comedy with more nuanced character moments. He was a master of facial expressions and body language, using these tools to convey a wide range of emotions. Arbuckle's approach to comedy was not just about getting laughs, it was about creating a genuine connection with the audience. Arbuckle's personal worldview was also reflected in his work. He was known for his generosity and kindness both on and off the set. These qualities were often reflected in his on-screen persona, which was generally good-natured and good-hearted. Arbuckle's films often explored themes of friendship, loyalty, and the importance of community. Despite facing numerous challenges and controversies throughout his career, Arbuckle remained committed to his craft. He continued to innovate and push the boundaries of what was possible in comedy. His work has had a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to be celebrated and studied today. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle began his movie career in 99 with the Selling Polyscope Company. He later joined Keystone Studios as a member of the Keystone Cops in 1913. His talent and comedic skills were soon recognized, leading to his groundbreaking contract with Paramount Pictures in 1920. This contract made him the first actor to be paid a million dollars a year, marking a significant milestone in the film industry. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a significant figure in early Hollywood, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. As a comedian and actor, he contributed to the development of slapstick comedy and influenced many future stars. 
Arbuckle was one of the first comedians to gain popularity during the silent film era. He was known for his physical comedy and inventive gags, which often involved elaborate sets and props. His work set the stage for future comedians like Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, and the Marx Brothers. Arbuckle's acting style was unique for his time. He often played bumbling, lovable characters who got into all sorts of trouble. This relatable and humorous approach resonated with audiences and helped to establish the comedic genre in film. Industry experts and those inspired by Arbuckle have praised his contributions to the industry. Film historian David Robinson noted that Arbuckle was one of the most influential comedians in the history of cinema. Director and comedian Peter Bogdanovich called Arbuckle a true pioneer and one of the great comedians of all time. Arbuckle's influence can still be seen in modern comedy. His physical humor and comedic timing continue to inspire new generations of comedians and filmmakers. Actor and comedian Billy West, known for his work on Ren and Stimpy and Futurama, has cited Arbuckle as a major influence on his own work. In short, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a trailblazer in the world of comedy and film. His contributions to the industry helped to establish the comedic genre and paved the way for future stars. His unique style and innovative approach continue to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Contrary to popular belief, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle's career as an actor did not end with the scandalous rape and murder trials. In fact, he was in the midst of starring in a series of successful shorts and was on his way back up when he passed away. The legend that his box office clout faltered after the scandal is not entirely true. His films were making just as much money as they had been before the scandal. However, due to the scathing headlines about him, studios were reluctant to put him under contract, causing him problems in getting work. A detailed breakdown of the rape murder scandal can be found in the book Frame Up, The Untold Story of Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle by Andy Edmonds. Despite the scandal, Arbuckle's films remained popular, but the actor's career was significantly impacted by the negative publicity, leaving him with few opportunities in the industry. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was known for his humor and generosity both on and off the screen. He was a family man who enjoyed spending time with his loved ones. Arbuckle was also a dog lover and often featured his dogs in his films. In terms of personal values, Arbuckle believed in hard work and fairness. He was known for treating his cast and crew with kindness and respect, and he was always willing to go the extra mile to ensure that everyone was happy and comfortable on set. Arbuckle was also passionate about giving back to his community. He was involved in several charitable organizations and often donated his time and resources to help those in need. For example, he was a major supporter of the Los Angeles Orphans Home Society, and he frequently visited sick children in hospitals bringing them gifts and cheer. Despite facing personal and professional challenges throughout his career, Arbuckle remained committed to his values and his passion for entertaining others. His generosity and kindness left a lasting impact on those around him, and his legacy continues to inspire people today. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a successful actor in the early 20th century, with his biography featured in the American National Biography Supplement 1, PP, 1113. He started his career in vaudeville and later moved on to film, where he became one of the biggest stars of the silent era. However, his career was marred by scandal in the 1920s, leading to a decline in his popularity. In 1932, Arbuckle began achieving success again with a series of short films made by Warner Brothers. Despite weighing 300 pounds at the height of his career, Arbuckle's talent and comedic timing made him a beloved figure in the film industry. Arbuckle's weight was a notable aspect of his persona, but it did not define his career or limit his abilities as an actor. He was known for his physical comedy and ability to connect with audiences, and his contributions to the film industry continue to be celebrated today. In the years following his comeback, Arbuckle worked on several successful projects and was able to rebuild his reputation in the industry. His talent and dedication to his craft allowed him to overcome adversity and achieve success once again. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a significant figure in the early days of Hollywood. He was a talented comedian and filmmaker known for his physical comedy and innovative filming techniques. Arbuckle helped shape the future of the industry, paving the way for future comedians and filmmakers. 
Despite facing personal scandal and controversy, Arbuckle's impact on the industry remains. His legacy can be seen in the work of countless comedians and filmmakers who have been inspired by his innovative style and comedic timing. For aspiring professionals in the field, Arbuckle's advice would be to stay true to yourself and your vision. Don't be afraid to take risks and push boundaries, even if it means facing criticism or controversy. It's important to keep learning and growing and to always be open to new ideas and perspectives. Arbuckle would also emphasize the importance of hard work and dedication. Success in the industry requires more than just talent. It requires a strong work ethic, a willingness to put in the time and effort, and a commitment to honing your craft. Finally, Arbuckle would encourage aspiring professionals to always be true to their audience. Connecting with your audience and creating work that resonates with them is one of the most rewarding aspects of the industry. By staying true to yourself and your vision, and by working hard and staying dedicated, you can make a lasting impact on the industry and leave a legacy that inspires future generations. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, a name once synonymous with silent film comedy, had a career that was tragically cut short due to a scandal. A fictionalized version of these events was depicted in James Ivory's film The Wild Party, with James Coco playing a silent film star based on Arbuckle. Despite the nickname Fatty, which he loathed, Roscoe preferred to be called by his given name. He was a mentor to future comedy greats Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton, playing a significant role in shaping their comedic styles. Arbuckle's career came to a sudden halt following a party in 1921, which resulted in the death of a young actress, Virginia Rapp. Although he was eventually acquitted, the scandal tarnished his reputation, and he struggled to regain his former status in the film industry. The unfortunate events that marked the end of his career have been captured in The Wild Party, offering a glimpse into the life of this once celebrated comedian. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a passionate, an innovative actor who left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. He started his career as a comedian in vaudeville and soon became one of the most popular actors in early Hollywood. Despite facing personal and professional setbacks, including a controversial manslaughter trial, Arbuckle continued to work in the industry and mentored future stars like Buster Keaton and Bob Hope. Arbuckle's comedic style, which often involved physical humor, and clever sight gags influenced generations of comedians and filmmakers. He was also a talented director and producer, known for his attention to detail and ability to elicit natural performances from his actors. Arbuckle's story is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Despite facing significant challenges and setbacks, he continued to pursue his passion for entertaining audiences and left behind a body of work that continues to inspire and delight. His impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we can create something meaningful and enduring. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, a talented actor known for his agility and singing voice, found himself in the midst of a manslaughter case in San Francisco. Adolf Zucker, who had a lot of money invested in Arbuckle, attempted to intervene by phoning the district attorney, Matt Brady, in an attempt to end the case. However, this action only angered Brady who then accused Zucker of offering a bribe. Arbuckle's biography can be found in Who's Who in Comedy by Ronald L. Smith. Despite the controversy, Arbuckle's contributions to comedy and his talent as an actor remain noteworthy. Let's take a moment to discuss the work and legacy of the early Hollywood star, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. Known for his comedic prowess, Arbuckle was a pioneering figure in the world of silent films. His career spanned over 150 films where he showcased his talent for both physical comedy and storytelling. Despite facing controversy and personal hardships, Arbuckle's impact on the entertainment industry remains significant. His innovative filmmaking techniques and comedic style have influenced many actors and filmmakers that followed. We would love to hear your thoughts on Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle's work and legacy. What do you remember most about his films? How do you think his career has shaped the entertainment industry? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into classic Hollywood, please remember to like and share this content with your friend and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories about the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Your support helps us continue to produce and share this content with you.